Well, as a lot of people know, in feeder fishing, we bring a lot of um, skills and tricks that we learnt in pole fishing and float fishing over into our feeder fishing. And one of those details is plumbing the depth, just getting a feel for you know what it's like actually out in your peg, whether you know how deep it is, are there any features out there? The way that I do that is by simply, with the rod that I'm fishing with, is clipping on a 30 gram bomb and just cast that out. And when I cast it out into different areas of the swim, I can actually, I actually use a stopwatch. A lot of people count, um, one Mississippi, two Mississippi, or one matrix, two matrix. Whichever way you want to do it, that's entirely up to you. I always use a stopwatch purely because that is the most accurate way of doing it, okay? So I use a stopwatch and all I do is, I like to just work my way out on the peg. So wherever, whatever kind of peg I'm faced with, I start at a reasonably short range, I work my way out, timing how long it takes the bomb to hit the bottom. By doing that, it gives you a mental picture of what your swim's like. So all I do is, the way that I do it, is basically I have the bail arm open like that, ready to cast. I hold the stopwatch in my left hand, just like that, okay? And all I do then is I start with a nice, simple underarm cast first. As soon as it hits the surface, stop it, set the stopwatch going, and when the line goes slack, stop the stopwatch, and that's told me there that that's taken three and a half seconds for that to hit the bottom. What you're doing is when the, just before the bomb hits the surface, put your finger on the line, the tip will obviously bend as the bomb's falling, and then as soon as it hits the bottom, the tip will drop back, and that's when you stop your stopwatch. And I always start the stopwatch just as the bomb hits the surface. So that's three and a half seconds there, and that went out to about 15 meters. So what I'll do now is go a little bit further out and see how deep it is there. It's all about getting a, a mental picture of just what it's like out there. It's not going to tell you how to fish or where to fish, but it's telling you what it's like out there, and that'll hopefully allow you to make you know, a decision about where you're going to choose to fish. So all I'm going to do now is, this will be an overhead cast because I'm going out to about 25 metres, and I'm just going to do exactly the same again. Tip's bent round, as soon as it goes slack, that is exactly four seconds deep. So that's told me it's 30, well, half a second deeper by going an extra 10 metres out. What you do with that information is entirely up to you, but you know now, if you're going to fish between 15 and 25 metres, it's gradually getting deeper as you go further away. Now, this is not a really wide peg by any means, so what I'm going to do now is, you'd expect it to shallow up further across that you go. So all I'm going to do now is, for my peace of mind, reset the stopwatch, and I'm going to go now not far off that other bank, it's about 35 metres. Set the stopwatch. Three seconds deep. So that's told me once we get past that 25 metre mark, it then begins to shallow up just like it does on this bank as you get up towards that other bank. So now it's entirely up to me what I do with that information, but I now have a mental picture in my head of what the contours of the bottom are like. What you could also do if you want to go into more detail is cast to the left, to the right, exactly the same as what I've just done, just to see if it shelves off in any other direction. But now, I now know exactly what the contours are like out there, so now I can plan my approach.